<sighs> We're starting. We have started. We have started. Uh, Hello. Oh, well. Now I just look silly. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, yeah, hey, people who are nerds and looking at the VOD. Hi. There Good we go. Be a nerd. Thank you for being here. I had to wait for a uh, robo stream to refresh to actually grab his chat and pop it out. <laughs> we have two viewers. Moon, are we the two viewers? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Poggers. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn Robo is to viewer oh wait no it's his channel though so he doesn't count oh oh now we're up to five viewers look at us basically just oh no I was trying to think of a funny joke but <laughs> the joke was supposed to be hey we're ready for Robo to get a subscriber I'm like wait he has a subscribe button <laughs> mm. which by the way if you have if your mum has Amazon Prime you can uh Steal that and get her credit card or whatever and put it into Twitch and get a special thing that Amazon Prime lets you <sighs> click the subscribe button. Thanks. <laughs> Talking hard. Alright, I've just given them an order clear so they should be starting soon. There we go. Okay. So I'm assuming Celica and Ragnar? Yes. Uh, I okay. believe so. Oh. Okay. Played against both of them. They don't. They definitely have combos. It's just getting them in a pressure scenario is a bit tricky for them. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Luminous declaring, "I don't know what I'm doing." It's alright. No one does. Why is Hachi? I thought it was Robo. Yeah, no, it's me. I'm, I'm taking today because Des can't. So here I am. Okay. Both characters have very good five Bs in this very matchup. Early. So. Yeah, you want to be chucking a lot of <laughs> a lot of uh, five Bs out here. Um, one thing about Celica that's uh, unique to her is that she can recharge her health. Um, not completely unique to her, uh, given she's fighting Ragnar at the moment, who also does that. But um, she also spends that health she can recharge on combo damage. So impressive. <laughs> Round start burst probably not the best part, or the best idea. Yeah, but, Ragnar uh, definitely gets a lot out of OD combos, so if you do know those, they're definitely something good to go for. Ooh! Hit by the active flurry, yeah, so... 4k there. That really hurts on a character like Ragnar, who only has 10k health. It's true, both of these characters are 10k, I believe? Yeah. Yeah. They so both... They, 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 both, both yeah, they both regen health, so... If they had any more, it'd yeah. be really obnoxious. It would, but it also means uh, their overdrive is very valuable because both characters here get a ton of health from overdrive. Um, damage for both of them as well. Celica gets a surprising amount of damage with OD combos. Yeah. Ooh, okay, burst to get him in the corner. Ooh, okay, <laughs> straight into the DP. Interesting thing about Celica's DP, it's not a true DP. Ooh, I think that was a kind of scissors attempt, which is the right idea, but... Mm. Oof. Um... Yeah, she doesn't have a true DP, but instead it's kind of like guard point where you hit her and then you just freeze while she smacks you and you feel silly about it. Yeah. The main However, the main difference between sorry. them is um, you can't uh, like hit stop OS it because yes. uh, you're stuck in you know block fr or hit frames. That is correct. However, on the on the reverse side, if I'm not mistaken, there is a chance I could be. I know less about the game than people think. Um, I believe you can uh, use a throw if she uses DP, and it'll hit. Yeah. Because of if how it, it works. Yeah. If it's yeah. low enough, um, if the recovery is low enough on lock, uh, you can just throw her out of her guard point. Yeah. You can actually also, if you, if you're a set play character, you can actually do enough damage to blow that guard point up. Oh, interesting. How much damage is it? Do you know? I don't know. I just remember hitting Jace with like. I think a fireball, two two B, and a C button at the same time. <laughs> Interesting. 
Yeah, very careful to not get counter hit by that uh, DP in overdrive, because she can actually combo off that if I'm not mistaken. Comes fail? I might be wrong about that. Okay. Do Goes to yeah. chuck him in the corner. Okay, needs to stop jumping into these DPs. <laughs> oh no. Not your best verse, okay. but uh, keeps his head cool and blocks the super. Oh, straight up in there. Chucks the ball to Hades. Alright. Alright. Both rounds that Jumping JC. Yeah. <laughs> that projectile is very fast. It, uh... It's very fast. It's also very obnoxious. A lot of characters, like, there's not a lot that they can do um, about it unless you hit her early. Yeah. So it's, it's a very good projectile. Yeah. One of the better parts of that kit. Oh, careful about that. That, uh, that little sword flick he does is a low. Well, first hit is a low, specifically. Interesting. Oh no, it's it's tall, but it's not quite that tall. Mm. I'm expecting a DP. No? Oh. So. Ooh! Above the EA. Unfortunately, doesn't expect the jump into... I guess that's a... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh goodness, yeah. Gotta watch out for that guard point. <laughs> Interesting round start. There's the projectile. Uh, the, thing, the thing about that projectile is it's pretty fast, but um, when you block it, it's actually usually punishable, I believe. If you're close. If you're close up, yeah, it definitely is. I delays the burst, so unfortunately gets the side swap. However, probably wanted to hold on to the EA if possible. Uh, overdrive into EA. Even. Pro counter. Can't quite kill here. Next good hit can kill though. Oh, catches the back dash. Gotta be careful when you back dash, because you can be hit. Mm. Oh. Okay. And that'll be a quick one. Strange interaction there. Yeah. I imagine he was trying to barrier. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea to go for barrier breaks though, at least I'm assuming that's what was the attempt there. Um, for those unaware, barrier break is where you run forwards and then immediately stop running into barrier. Or stop running and then press barrier, not into barrier. You know what I mean. Yeah, it's something to get used to if you're coming from other anime fighting games, like uh, maybe Unist. Um, I'm not sure how Dragon Ball works, but um, Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear uh, utilize barrier break to stop their run uh, immediately so if you weren't doing that you would just have recovery on your run and you can be hit out of that yeah so generally you want to use barrier break and you can ask Aether all about this he'll give you a little essay on it but um, barrier break is when you've got someone let's let, let's use my character Susano as an example his buttons are big very big and if you misjudge your spacing and try to hit him, he will fatal counter you and suddenly you've lost over half your health. So, to in an attempt to combat that, uh, barrier breaking is where you use barrier to, as the name implies, immediately break, halt your momentum. Um, so what you can do is, when done correctly, you immediately halt yourself right where Susano's range stops. But because he can't you know, perfectly react to your barrier breaking, he's likely going to try and catch you running in with a button. But if you've gone for the barrier break you're just outside the range of his button and then once it's done once his button's done you can go smack him in the face and make him sad so that is why you want to barrier break uh this is ash i believe <laughs> yeah this is ash okay. uh yes if the name is anything to go by okay Relius? Relius, okay. Yeah, we saw Ash on Monday very briefly playing a Jeremy Hard. Oh. Zero games on Relius, uh oh. <laughs> That's alright. Um, just means. <sighs> just check them yeah. with the layer one uh, wife ball. Yeah. <laughs> also, Relius has like that. Special thing that's like plus in it. Uh, 12? No, not the 12. It's like where he like sticks his 
knife in your face and then pulls you towards him. Oh, 60. Is it 60? Okay. I'm just gonna trust Des. Yeah, Des knows his character. Alright, so... Ooh. In this matchup, I believe... Now has got the hardest time in neutral? I'm pretty sure he does. Um, I would say so. Um, Relace's neutral is, like, unexpectedly good. Um, it's just that he, it's on, on a bit of a resource, so managing it is difficult, but just because neutral is difficult doesn't make it not good. Hmm. Ooh, don't think that's the super he was looking for there. Yeah, you don't actually see a whole lot of Relace. No one properly mains him. I think Cheetah Beast can be on the time, but... Yeah, I don't see him Cheetah is... Yeah, it's it's honestly only cheats. Like Des has flirted with the idea, I guess, but hasn't really done it. So not, not actually, I'm kind of uh, impressed with the rally it's showing here. It's a lot better than I expected. We did see a combo, so given zero matches, not bad. Mm -hmm. Block the wrecker. It's a good. That's a good point to challenge. Nato can frame trap that, but he'll end up. I believe punishable on the third one. Yes. Uh, unless he rapids, he's extremely punishable on the third one. No, oh, good throw. Ooh. Versus throw. <laughs> Don't see that too much in Blaze Blue. <laughs> More of a guilty gear thing, but it does work. Honestly, out. every time I do see it happen, it's always against Naoto. There's, 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 there must be something about Naoto that makes him easier. Um, I'm not sure. I guess he's just always in your face. Yeah. I think sometimes he's just staggering A buttons and people are thinking, oh, tick throw, but he's going for 6A and you just turn out of it. Yeah. Ooh. 100 meters spent there by Sin, all just to keep himself safe. Yeah. <laughs> Run up DP, oh no. Yeah. Now, so his okay. DP is extremely good. <laughs> It'll blow through a lot of the guys. It will, and as has been discussed recently in the CF channel, you can frame zero, dash that, and it's enhanced, and it goes like almost half the screen. <laughs> mm. I know, because just earlier I was playing Sin, and he did that shit on me on Wake Up, <laughs> and I got hit, and I was like, really, bro? Mm. Yes, uh, Hans brings up a good point. Wife was tired there. Um, as Relius, you want to ideally never, ever have your wife run out of juice. Unless you want to spend OD to reduce her, I guess. I don't know. Mm. This is a bit weird, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't sure whether or not it could be done, Des. Uh, frame zero. Wake up. Enhance DP from now on. Oh no, so Des, most of us knew... Okay. There was like three of us that were like, Yeah, it's possible, but it's really tricky. Um, whereas other people were just like, nah, it's not possible. And then we had evidence in video that, like, hey, look, someone did it. But yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, I've done it once myself, but I wasn't sure if it was frame zero or if it was just someone stuffing up their meaty. <laughs> so, I've noticed something uh, Sin needs to work on a bit is his pressure seems to be... He knows what he wants to do, but his fingers aren't quite keeping up, and I've noticed there's a few point where he... I can tell he wants to micro-dash, and he's missing the micro-dash. Just little things like that. A bit to brush up on there. Not that I can really talk, my micro-dash is not very good. Another throw out, what a god. I don't want to deal with the strike threat. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, interesting. <laughs> this is amazing. He's doing work. He's doing work with these stars. Well, he's close here. You take this round. Put the doll super on him. Yeah, I agree. Chuck the super out. Oh, okay. Oh. Anti is the overhead. <laughs> it's not a real thing you can do, oh, by the way. Nice. Oh! Anti air throw! Okay. This man's a throw god. Why is he playing Rallyus? He should be playing Tega. <laughs> Ooh. 
Yeah, that's incorrect. not a throw, I believe. Um, all of Ignis's throws are just unblockables. Yeah. I think uh, Nirvana is the same as Carl. Oh, nice ODR. Don't think he held it. So for those unaware, there are two types of EAs you can do. Uh, there's your... You press and hold overdrive, and then you just keep holding it, and then you get EA immediately. But that's actually different to pressing overdrive, stopping to hold, the, like, not holding the button, and then pressing it again. You actually get two different speeds, even though the time, I guess, elapsed is different. Um... And so generally speaking, if you want to EA after an overdrive, you should not let go of the button because it will be actually slower. Um, there's like... Someone who's done more research on this can chime in what the exact speeds are, but I believe it's like 10 frames faster to I just think, hold the button. I think so. There's like 10 frames of recovery on OD and then like 10 frames of EA startup. Yeah, but then you just kind of eliminate that, you know, have to... that You eliminate 10 frames, essentially, which is... A lot of the time, that's the difference between uh, punishing someone and not. Hmm. Yeah, you can do the slow one and get more involved. That is true. ODR kind of forces an Ooh. RTS situation a lot of the time, and uh, choosing whether to do fast EA, slow EA, or no EA is uh, yeah, part of that whole RTS situation. There's some white ball. Alright. In this case, oh no, I was going to say Sin has to be very careful, but unfortunately he just killed himself. Yeah. Oh no, he... Ah! <laughs> she wasn't done, she wasn't done, okay. Yeah, keeps going. So, something, something to learn for the future is, uh, you'll know when she's done because she does like, I believe it's uppercut, uppercut, pause, uppercut? I believe that signals the end, the third, dis like, not disjointed, but like delayed uppercut. So that's one a piece from the Yes. Yes. Any character check? Oh. Valkenhayn, okay. These okay. two have a thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna see it. <laughs> well, you don't know that. We could. Maybe. Just like throwing a dart through the eye of a needle, I guess. <laughs> The Rachel color. Very blonde. Falkenheim. So something uh, to note about going from Nauto to Valkenhayn. You go from one level of difficulty of inputs to another level of difficulty in inputs. Not necessarily harder, just a different level of hard. Um, uh, so yeah, some basic things to note about Valkenhayn. Uh, he can't block while he's in wolf form. Very sad state of affairs for him. Um, is he considered crouching in wolf form? Uh, I'm not sure. Actually. <laughs> yeah, we, as, as with uh, Relis, we don't really have many Valkenheim players, um, and those that do play him don't play him very often. Um, but yeah, I don't think, I don't think he's crouching. But yeah, he can't block. Um, however, in exchange for not being able to block and it being on a resource, as you can see at the bottom, um, he has. I would. Would you say the best mix-up in the game? Uh. Probably. It's I, uh, some yeah. of the hardest to react to. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about OS's for it. I don't know if there are any that exist that kind of just force him to do stuff that's easy I to react to. I don't believe there are any OS's, but yeah. again, I'm not the most knowledgeable. Yeah. But uh, in return for having very good mix up, his, um, his damage return isn't too great. It's on the line yeah, in the game. He, yeah, he definitely, like, uh, you know, a good in inverted combos, good combo for him is like 2.3, 2.4, where comparatively other characters would be sitting pretty at about or 3k? Maybe just a bit more, a bit less, depending on the character, but yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Time out. A time up. <laughs> the Lord SKD says he lives in. Yeah, so. Says, not demonstrates. You'll get your uh, 6A from Jim. 
the 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 Very deep lore for those that don't know, there's a fellow named SKD. He plays Izzy Oi. Uh, not anymore, but at least for a long time was arguably the best uh, NA player. He demonstrated on video that he could react to uh, Wolf mix-up. However, in game, because game and uh, you know practice is very different, uh, he wasn't able to, <laughs> and in fact wasn't react wasn't reacting to things slower than that. So just uh, that is Fenris your lesson for today. Well. It's true. But yeah, that, let that be your lesson. You can do anything you want in uh, training, but you need to be able to do it in a game, and that is why we hold these tournaments that you're currently entered slash watching. Right, um, it's worth mentioning, um, our Aurelius player here, uh, match point, yeah. Put the wife on him. Uh, yep. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, uh, that was a yep. slow jump, very nice. Did actually manage to block in time? Ooh. Didn't, oh, didn't know how to go for the follow up, okay. Ooh, okay. Empty jump, transform into wolf, overhead. Valkmix definitely isn't the best in the game. Mm. I don't know, it uh, feels pretty damn good. Aracuna and Curse, I guess, is technically better. Yeah, I guess. We've also got, like, Izayoi, who can just threaten high-low and be plus off it. Yeah. <laughs> what a character. Man, maybe we should give Valk ribcage if he can't block. <laughs> Please, no. You might have noticed, uh, though, that uh, outside of wolf form, uh, Valkenhide's movement is very bullet-esque, and I find that newbies probably know more about bullets than they do Valkenhide. And, and so you probably know that bullet's movement is pretty upsetting because she has a step dash. Movement is very important in this game. Um, early on... Yeah, yeah, sorry, you go on. I think Sin, uh, he did have the health lead, so he was kind of just keeping his distance, and that's mostly fine. Um, when you got the health lead, you can just hang back, you don't really need to commit. And if your opponent's just going to let the clock go, uh, I mean, that's a win for you, so... Ooh, Astral, will he go for it? That could be potentially throwing away the game, though. Hit him with the human mix-up. The reactable stuff? Now this man, this man plays with honor, unreactable. <laughs> <laughs> I think Valk actually gets pretty good damage off his um, human buttons. But uh, that'll be two one to Sin there. Uh, and then who's next on stream? I haven't checked. Those watching, keep an eye out on Discord because Des is probably announcing games as I speak. Let's see, he sure is. Ah, we're getting DXD in here. Oh, okay. So, from what I've heard, we're going to be seeing some Jubei today. Uh, all right. I wasn't sure who he was going to be playing, to be honest. It's from what I've heard. He might, he might, you know, do a 180 right beforehand, but uh... never mind. He's just saying give me a bit need to remember bullet astral input all right so he's playing bullet well i can commentate that almost as well arguably better because i actually know how bullet works due to everyone else talking about it <laughs> but you've played Jeez. like four months of jubo <laughs> i still don't know shit <laughs> i have like I've labbed some combos with Jubei. I will go that far and I say, like... I can't believe this man is a liar. <laughs> no, 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 no. Since saying I have a lab with this character, no, I no, labbed no, with this character. Not you. Oh. DXT oh. is playing Jubei. Oh. Oh. He is lying. Why is he... <laughs> Sorry, I was I was reading chat. <laughs> okay. Um, so... Jubei. He's always crouching. When you hit him, he's always considered crouching. Um, otherwise it would be really ambiguous, like it is for a lot of other characters, but cranked up to 11. So, if you have crouching combos that, you know, work on crouching only, you could do them against Jubei. Um, however, to make up for this, he's incredibly fast cat. 
Okay, we are getting a little bit of stuttering by the looks of things. Hopefully it's not too bad for the players. Okay. Uh, interesting thing about Jubei's 6A and 6B is they are parries. They're not very good parries, is the long story short. So most of the time when you see a Jubei do them, they're either an idiot or they made a mistake. <laughs> There is a and rare chance that they're actually really good. <laughs> it's a very rare chance. Yeah, I I try to use those buttons a lot and I get blown up for it a lot. I find the best way to do it is when people are conditioned to use a long button after your minus to try and catch your back dash and then you have a surprise parry. Yeah. It that's basically just a gotcha moment. <laughs> Another throw, this man's throws. Oh, please, ooh. Okay, okay. That was gonna be a lot of damage, especially on crouching. Okay, so, I've noticed DXD is delaying the 5D a lot after 3C. Um, you don't actually want to delay at all there. As soon as you see the second hit of 3C come out, if you need to, just mash that D button, just mash it. Um, you shouldn't mash in, an, in ideal circumstances, but if it's about accuracy of inputs, it doesn't matter too much. Right. Run up EA. EA. <laughs> and it was... Someone yeah, get the media EA copy pasta out. <laughs> There's a copy pasta for that? Yeah. What? I haven't seen that. Someone someone actually post that, please. Uh, someone needs to at Marx. Oh, of course, Marx has it. Sorry, you could probably hear weird noises from a microphone. I... I have a slinky. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I've had a slinky next to me for like years now, but I've only just recently started using it, and it's I've I've learned that I'm. I, it, it, look, it helps me concentrate when I have a slinky in my hand. I'm like, <laughs> I, 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 I won't say it's. Don't worry about it. You know what? Don't worry. Anyway, um, Dixie mentioning tag Jubei mode. His brain's in. Hush, you need a fidget spinner. This is this is my socially acceptable fidget spinner. Rather than rather than you know having a fidget spinner, I have a slinky because it's, you know not gonna have people call me cring. Okay, goes for anti-air round start. Ooh, okay, not a lot of okay. Um, Jubei's strongest point in neutral <laughs> is that his movement is crazy. Both forward, just forward dash, aka run, and back dash, he can move a lot. Um, and it's like, probably his strongest aspect, so as Jubei, you really want to be just running around the stage like your life depends on it, because in harder matchups, it literally does. He's just mashing now. Does <laughs> not care about Relia's pressure. Hey! He finally mashed 5D and got it to connect. Why does DC keep ignoring... 5C2's existence. Um, He's just pressing buttons. Yeah, he just wants to press buttons, yeah, that's honestly it. Okay, projectile, nice. Another really good tool of Jubei. So, the projectile will often... Uh, sorry, I'm gonna interrupt myself. Um, when... Okay, in as Jubei, when you're in the air, before you try and do a uh, J6D to go back to the ground, you want to do his aerial like flick down, uh, J214B because that'll actually line them up perfectly for J6D to go. Anyway, back to Jubei's projectile. Um, this is both useful for Jubei players and people playing against him. Don't let his projectile come out. Once it's out, he's probably got control of neutral now, at least to a degree, unless you're like a godlike character, like he's an army or whatever. Alright, uh... Nah, not quite. Didn't have the active play. Now, Ooh. all these five Ds from DXD could be getting punished right now. Um, you kind of just need up back and forward a button. Yeah, no, um, 5D, there, there were errors on both sides there. So, 5D to get in is not a great tool. If you have 50 meter, and in uh, DXD's case, then you had 100 meter. In those cases, I definitely think it's worth going for, just to rapid it, because it's a meterless option, you can make safe, and... It looks very strange, and if the opponent's crouching, you're also in perfect range to uh, sometimes flick over them with uh, standing 214B, um, which is like a double cross up overhead weird thing. Very good option. However, because DXD wasn't rapiding there, 
um, you definitely want to be punishing him for that. It's counter hit recovery the whole time, it's counter hit crouching recovery the whole time. So if you know some uh, crouching combos, you can you can make Jubei's life uh, less about life and more about death. Uh, no, you cannot... Uh, you can't special cancel 5D on block. Um, but install, you can... Yeah, no. 5D is the swipe. Yeah, so... 5D is the cross-screen swipe, but after that you can install, I think... On block, I think. Um... I'm pretty sure you can. Um, but on hit you obviously can. Why not do install instead of R3? Yeah, I mean, you could always, but it's also like, it's got a lot of um, hits done, slash blocks done. I mean, like, it, it keeps them in there for a while, um, especially if it hits, you'll have all the time in the world to recognize it. Um, so it, it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, look at me, I'm getting these. I believe, uh, I think 5D cancelling into specials is only available on hit. I'm pretty, yeah, on hit, it, it, sorry, on hit, um, you can go into specials, on block, you're definitely not going into specials, um, but I'm not sure about install, what's an anti-air confirm route that I can practice, for Jubei, um, unmapped, well, I recommend having your buttons mapped, um, an anti-air confirm, okay, Jubei's anti-air confirms, I, <sighs> Yeah, it de <sighs> Jubei doesn't really have like a stock standard. I got an anti-air, I can now do this exact route. Um, because the properties change on counter hit, the height varies, dep like depending on the height, you can go for different combos. You can also do like Tigany J214B at very specific heights. There's a lot. Um, I think, yeah, I was gonna say, what G says there is probably the one that's going to work anywhere on the screen. However, you also probably don't want to do that if your opponent's in the corner, because you'll sideswap yourself. But I need my SP map. No, please do not. Please do not map a... No, do not map a stylish button. Anyway, so we have uh, King Golira versus uh, Blood Gorilla. Um, I'm ex okay, so in the neutral, I'd say this is pretty freely in Naoto's favor, with the exception of, his, of if he's able to deal with uh, Gustav. Yeah, he's um, he's just got to run. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, because Gustav, for those unaware, is what, plus one? Yeah. Plus two? One it, of the it's two. It's plus one, but it has an absurd amount of hit stuff. Sorry, I blocked stuff. Yeah. So, you try and press buttons and you're, you can't, you're still in block. Yeah. It, it kind of messes, it messes with your um, tempo, I guess. Yeah. If, I, I completely agree with that statement, yeah. yeah. Because of the amount of block stun it has. It's only plus one, but it feels so much more plus because you're stuck there in block stun forever. Yeah. As well as just and recovering it... is just as awesome, so almost. Yep. Nice block there. So an interesting thing about Azrael is that a lot of the time, a lot of characters won't actually be able to punish a lot of the things he goes for because he leaves himself so far away. <laughs> um, a lot of people, when they recognize the point that it's their turn, like you saw Sin do there earlier, he'll press 5A. But 5A is not going to reach at the range that uh, Azrael is at the end of that string. Yeah. Well, one of the things that um, Azrael's quite weak to is uh, instant barrier block. It, it just pushes him out. Like, very well, yes. He's one of those characters that if you push him really far out, there's not a lot he can do. He, he can try to go stuff back in. But, uh, I mean, he can IBB that. Yeah. Yes, this uh, this matchup is one of those matchups that's really tricky at first, and like he still has really good mix-up. Um, ooh, that was some nice insta-block, man. Um, he has some really nice mix-up. Um, however, if you can insta-block Gustav at least semi-reliably, you're probably in for a good time, because that leaves Azrael as minus as hell on that button. Okay, so this this is going to have to be a pretty big OD from Sin here. Oh, unfortunately that, 
Oh, okay. Nice so we had an interesting uh, little bug there. You heard the rapid come out, but both players are on 100 meter. So that means the rapids didn't actually happen. For some characters, when they touch the ground, if you wrap it on the first frame that they touch the ground, sometimes it won't come out. <laughs> that was, uh, first round spawn star. Just monkeying out with the Azrael. Like I wouldn't good, call it a cool bug. <laughs> he's, a, he's a good character to monkey out with. Yeah. Is it the same as the My Just Frame RC bug? I think so, but I don't know for sure. It's, it's something along those lines. I've only, besides the My instances, I've only ever noticed it happen um, from falling, like, dive kick esque moves. Like, you know, Azrael's DP there where he's, like, falling. Uh, you've got Susano spin, stuff like that. Is the only place I notice it actually happening. <laughs> Wild in that, yeah. yeah. No escape. <laughs> yeah, that's the unfortunate thing here. I don't know if Sin's trying, um, but like you know, net play is a factor here. But you definitely need to be instant blocking a lot of Azrael stuff. Um, he is very ambiguously plus in a lot of areas, or if not ambiguously plus, then barely minus. And usually just out of range. Five B B B B B legit block string. Honestly, yeah. it kind of is if your opponent's not ready. Azrael's definitely a character you need to you need to be familiar with to be able to beat him to some degree. Wake up and hands DP. Instant burst. Something that Spawn Star does a lot is instant bursts, especially after DP. So, yeah, pe so uh, for people that want to learn to bait bursts. Hit him once and then jump. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Use the OD to give himself some time to react. Right, cross him up. Oh, okay. that's a very quick one there. Mm. Yeah, Azrael definitely requires some matchup experience. Yeah, no, he got he got hit by the Azrael matchup there. Yeah. So, okay, DXD, if you're watching this back, here is my Same. little summary of... Fuck, you're right. Sorry, I'm used to... Thank you. Sin! DXD, you can go away for now. Uh, Sin, if you're watching this back, um, work on instant blocking against Azrael's pressure, and learn where the stops are. Um, in addition, I'd also probably suggest, uh, respect DPs a bit. <laughs> Just look out for DPs and be like, hmm, I might not press a button here, because, I, like, obviously hindsight is, you know, 2020, but... I noticed a few times while I was watching, which is again a different matter entirely because I'm a viewer and not a player, but I was watching and I was like, hey, here comes a DP, and every single time it hit because you were trying to meaty. Meeting is good, but probably learn some safe jumps, use safe jumps more, stuff like that, because yeah, um, DP is going to hurt even if it is from Azrael. Mm. Did I do good, Dad? Um, well, you monkeyed the fuck out and no one could stop you, so... That's winning. That's, that's winning good. in my book. That is winning. Uh, Hutch doesn't want me anymore. Yeah. Um, on the uh, topic of <laughs> Azrael's DP, uh, it's actually one of the slowest in the game. Nineteen you, frames. Yeah, you can safe media that, and you can also low profile. Yes. So just a two A, um, two A whiff into four uh, B. I think it is. Is the OS? Just do like a two A and then four B, and if you whiff, yes. Uh, you'll block instead of throwing out the five B. So you can just save meaty as well as DP if it's uh, a big issue for you. If Ooh, not, good just song. Low profile. Right, so this matchup, um, I've actually played this matchup with Jeez a decent bit. Um, depending on the day, it can go either way. Um, I think both of these characters are equally decent. But also garbage, if that makes sense. <laughs> I, I'd say that it's probably better than either. I think I agree, but it's pretty close. I think I think they're pretty close. I mean, Celica just has really good damage, and uh, well, her average damage is quite nice, but her ceiling I think is meant to be a bit limited. I've never really seen her go over 5k. But um, yeah, her anti-air is also really good. 
Current Tire is exceptional. Yeah. Full frames on the hidden long kick thing. It's actually really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Most DPs do hit behind to some degree, and that one is no exception. Oh, nice, we got Hutch vs. G on stream, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Something DXD needs to do. Um, in this matchup, it's actually less good than a lot of others due to her really, really nice 5B, all things considered. For, for an, a, a supposedly, uh, you know, relatively rubbish character, her 5B is nice. Um, backdash on wake up a lot. Because, uh, unless you're, you know, your back's in the corner, then don't do that. Ooh. That's interesting. Oh, ooh, okay. Yeah, so unfortunately the difference I'm seeing here is the Luminous, while not maybe the optimal combos, definitely has some solid combos here. Whereas DXD has got here. Oh, nice. No way. <laughs> 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 okay. DXD, as I was about to say, is playing the, the Stray Hits game. Um, and while Stray Hits does work early on, eventually, once you reach a certain level where everyone's playing at a similar level, uh, stray hits are just often strictly worse than combos. Pretty much. So, yeah. So something we'll want to see from DXD is a bit more, more in the way of combos. Um, just ironing out the very, very basic stuff, 3C into 5D, then Oki. Stuff like that. Yeah, big fan of 6C. Good, good presence of mind to not burst that though. A lot of people, when they hear the fatal noise, they'll immediately just mash burst. That was really good presence of mind by Luminous there to not like that. <laughs> but we'll great, he did it. need to do. Oh, oh my lord! Okay. Yeah. Don't let people get away with full screen. So... All right. <laughs> so the things to learn about. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Ooh, DxD managing to take that. So, what happened there? I'd best described as DxD resetting this man to death. Um, and unfortunately, without matchup experience, you just kind of don't know when you can start pressing buttons. So, some advice when learning matchups: um, mash. Don't play safe. Mash, because. If you don't mash, you're never going to learn where you can and can't mash. You're just going to learn that if I don't mash here, I can still block. And that's like, well, of course you can. So you want to just mash the shit out of things a lot of the time. Um, uh, I think DXD's taking a DQ. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. DxD's hands are hurting by the looks of things. What if they only do frame traps? Um, well, if they only do frame traps, then you're going to learn to not mash in those sections. Yeah. I mean, if you've established that they're frame traps, you know that they're frame no, no, traps. No, so, yeah, see, Hans, I am going to be sending people to get hit by fatals a lot with this advice, but those fatals are going to teach them where they can and can't mash. So, if you ever want to understand a matchup, especially on defense, Mash at different points. When you recognize a button being pressed, so let's say you recognize Jin's, uh, I don't know, 3C. He presses 3C on block, which to my knowledge Jin shouldn't do. If he does that, mash. Mash every time. Regardless of what happens after, mash every time you see 3C for like a solid, you know, session or two against Jin. See what happens. If you don't get blown up once, then guess what? 3C, it's now your turn. If you get blown up maybe sometimes but not all the time then you can probably guess that okay they have an option there but it's a risky option to go for if you get blown up every single time then you are you should probably guess okay i'm not going to mash after 3c anymore um do this with every other character okay let's say susano i'm gonna give everyone the first bit of knowledge check that you need against susano if he presses 6b which is like the one two thing he does where it's like punch and then like elbow like elbow punch is one of the two i don't actually know um when he does that after the second one mash you just mash right just mash the heck out of your a button it's your fastest button probably um you're gonna get hit and you're like oh i see i get hit here so then you don't mash um and then try after th uh 3c so susana's 3c is like the tail sweep 
smash after that. Um, and you'll notice that, okay, sometimes you start your turn. Sometimes you get hit by Susano's giant shoulder ramming into your face. That means that there is an option that Susano can go for there, but doesn't always for whatever reason. And a lot of the time you can just ask the player and they'll tell you, oh, it's risky to go for, because I can blow myself up. Um, that's, honestly, it's really simple and I probably over explained it. Just mash, pick a button that your opponent has and mash. Oh, hell and yeah. Ragnar versus Nauta. If it doesn't work, then yeah. Susano did DP for B, that means DP. <laughs> Thank you, Aether. <coughs> Excuse me. Alrighty. So, after a little kissing match between the two of them, we start. Um, so, <clears throat> was playing Sin before tournament. And he is. Now, though, was looking pretty nice. Ooh, 5A anti air confirmed. Okay. Low profile's the 5A. Now, to 2A is a pretty nice spot. It is. It's a low. Ooh, nice backdash there. Yep, low profiling the 5A again. Yep. <laughs> He's going for uh, Ragnar's 2 2 save um, off of. Right, yeah, I've noticed. Off. I don't think I've ever seen that work. Right. What? <laughs> Did, what? Did he just. Okay, that, what was a a DP, game. that was a DP clash, and he, uh, he was not about to give up on that DP. No, 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 your opponent is the one playing <laughs> run up DP. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so some advice from Nagato that immediately struck me. Don't use Hell's Fang as a movement tool. I really don't recommend it. Some characters do have specials like that that can be a movement tool. Ragnar is not one of them, at yeah. least not in most matchups. Yeah, if you come um, from Guilty Gear, you might be mistaking it for um, Fafnir. Uh, it is not Fafnir. It's not plus. Yeah, it's negative. Four. It's honestly not used all that often outside of suboptimal combos slash overdrive, to my understanding. Yeah, but I might be wrong. Oh, it is interesting. It is used in uh, pressure, um, and there's meter available. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, oh no, you can use it in combos as well, where there's uh, certain routes and you have 50 meter. You can be like, okay, I'm gonna use this, and then I think it's micro dash 5C, but I might be wrong about that. Yeah. Oh, goes oh okay. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the call out. So. I'll beat wake up DP with a bigger super DP. <laughs> that's. That's. Okay. Respectful round start. Vanishing Fang. While a little better as a movement tool than Ragnar's Hell Fang, don't recommend that either. Yeah. Oh, he's been missing that combo. It's all right. Death by a thousand cuts routes going fine for him at the moment. He's okay. working on it. Nagato needs to do something here. Absolutely needs to chuck oh, something no. out. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, nice mash there. Didn't quite confirm though. Oh, low profile. Ooh, slid under. <laughs> nice blocking there, but unfortunately, jump in buttons are generally plus, and so that will go to sin. Uh, Des, if you're watching, uh, make sure we get everyone on stream. Um, there's a few people we haven't seen on stream yet. Oh yeah, the entire bracket's going on stream, he uh, mentioned earlier. Oh, okay. Wait, the whole bracket's on stream? The entire rest of it. Challenges, um, crack the shits, I think. You can't update it. Oh, okay. So we're on Syndicate. Okay. It shouldn't take too much longer. Alright, I see. Oh. So I believe is hold on, is Hans going up now? Uh no, it's uh, still wanna. Oh yeah, no, but I mean okay, people talking as though Hans is about to go on. Okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um Okay, so yeah, going forward here, Nagato would want to abuse J C more. Um and something that you really just can't learn in such a you know, between two games, but, um, I think movement, um, Ragnar has 
I won't say amazing movement, but it's um, it's good movement. It's movement that he should be taking advantage of, especially with Micro Dash 5B and IAD JC or just general jump in JC. Ragnar has big buttons. You want to make sure you use them instead of running up close like that. Yeah. Nice job recognizing the uh, ground to air situation, but unfortunately didn't quite time it right. Ragnar's JC and 5B in particular are very good, just my own neutral. Yeah. Against a lot of characters, like, most characters have something they can do there, but against a lot of characters, just as a rule of thumb, they will lose to uh, Ragnar's big buttons. In a lot of situations, even some of the better characters will. Ooh, that's going to be a decent yeah. bit of lifesteal as well. Unfortunately, that probably won't matter, assuming it's a decent confirm from Sin. <laughs> yeah, sick. He's sick. Look at this, man. He's got the reads. Round start. Respectful round start. Ooh. That's a good starter, I believe. Okay, yeah, no, that's pretty nice. Could have, I think, could have actually done um, Gauntlet Hades to a ground combo there, but still a pretty good confirm, all things considered. Ooh, nice cross up. Fakes a combo into a reset. Okay, so something, just a really small thing with Ragnar is that his uh, DPs have two follow ups. Well, DPs, only one of them is a DP, but there's two DP motions. There's two follow-ups. There's like the middle hit, and then you can either smack them against the wall with, uh, I believe it's 214C in the air again, or you can smack them down with uh, 214D, I want to say. Smacking them down is generally going to be better if that's the end of your combo, because you keep them close, and they have less breathing room, so to speak. You can uh, run Oki on them to some degree. Yeah, Nagato is... He's got the special inputs down, right? <laughs> you should go play this man in Guild. Oh, yeah. If you want to see some specials. <laughs> if you haven't played his soul, uh, it's an experience. I see. Oh, here we go. Alright. Nice combo. Ooh. Went for an empty jump throw, but Nagata got that match on lockdown. Ooh, interesting combo. Okay, with one overdrive combo here, Nagato can bring it back. Oh, oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, he... The whiff EA I'm assuming... Ah, uh, yeah. Not the best on block. There is a gap there that can be used. Triple. What? Oh. Oh, okay. One hit! One... <gasps> Has he got it? Oh! Flew no! Back. Oh my god! <laughs> And Nagato takes it. Who brings that back? Now 1-1. One, one. Sin sandbagging? No, I don't think so. No, he's just been uh he's just been shaken by Nagato's playstyle. <laughs> he doesn't know how to how to react to this. Ooh. He wants to make sure he's moving on. He doesn't want to get knocked out. So, yeah, if like, it's a really cop out bit of criticism because it's like it's such an easy bit of criticism to make. But um, the weakest point in Hans's play tonight has been the fact that it's Naoto dropping combos. Huh? Um, I don't think. Sorry, I'm. Yet. I'm reading. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm using the wrong names. I'm re I'm reading names in chat as I'm talking. It's awful. Sincerest apologies. Anyway, Sin, yeah, Sin's weakest point tonight <laughs> has been that, yeah, he's been dropping combos. And so swapping to a character that's a much easier to play on that play, as you can see, things have changed drastically. Ah, uh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Look at his health, it's already gone. Ooh, the ambiguous cross -up? Okay, that does bounce. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Nagato just got that. <laughs> I hesitate to say this because it can come off as offensive, but he's got that newbie, like, factor, where it's just, you don't know what they're gonna do. And, like, look at this! Ooh. Okay! Okay, can he confirm off this? Oh, the burst! 
He knows he can do it. He knows he can do it. One or two solid hits. <gasps> that was so close. That was almost Nagato's round. <laughs> yeah, this is right. He, he does play like this. Nagato. Yeah. There's a method to his madness, somehow. <laughs> the mash. Nice combo there. <laughs> it's IS 6B. Okay, that is plus there. If uh, Blood Scythe is used on the ground, it is, what, plus 3, plus 4? Something like that. It's probably plus 2 now that I've listed those numbers off. So this is... Oh. I was a big fan of that. Actually, I think... I think that could have killed if he used Overdrive. Oh my god, did he just tag any of that? <laughs> oh my god! He can't be stopped! Fight the so what if we... <laughs> Alright. Very respectful here from both players. <laughs> DP confirmed. Ooh! Nice combo. Unfortunately, the uh, Blood Scythe combo route there is not going to work off of an A starter. Look for Files to 5A. Doesn't get a combo off of it, right? Ooh. Pause there to try and frame trap, it seems. Oh, okay. Doesn't uh, doesn't take advantage of the rapid quick enough. I think Sin is getting a bit shaken off of some combo drops here. Nice block on the cross up. Ooh, okay. If he was, if okay, he's definitely shaken right now. Because yeah. I know he knows the routing to kill there. Oh no, that's not no. <laughs> His meter is gone now. <laughs> oh, he respected it. His meter is gone. Oh, okay, okay. Sin will will be taking that off of jumping over dead spike. Uh. Jump over Dead Spike, by the way. Ragnar doesn't like it when you do that. What's he gonna do? Anti AU? <laughs> uh, I mean, depending on the distance, he may be able to, but generally, no, he will not. <laughs> respect the Astral attempt. Yeah, no, I agree. I respect it, it's just. Oh, I believe um, if Ragnar just whiffs his Astral, he's got time to DP. If you try to punish him, because I know Wiz has done that to me. Interesting. Okay, the winner of this versus Luminous now. Okay, so it's. Uh, I was gonna say DXD, but no. Sin in brackets. DXD's number one fan. Oh yeah, Luminous we have uh, yeah, Luminous versus Sin. The one time Nagato blocks. <laughs> Still first two for now, yeah. So we've got Sinister and Luminous, then the winner of them will be in Losers Finals, and we'll be determining their opponent after we run semi-finals, which is Hans versus Spawn. So Hans, what character are we seeing today? I'm sorry I have so many fans, that is weird. Yeah, you're Mr. Popular out here. He's made it to, uh... <laughs> made it to win his finals there, but, um... We haven't even seen him stream yet. <laughs> yeah! Who is this mysterious man in win his finals? Bang, but am I pick 9 if in danger of getting eliminated? <laughs> I see. Well, fair enough. Wait. Is Sin's IGN JP Ragnar? Yes, it is. Bang is fucking cancer, by the way. Spawn Star said. <laughs> have, uh, have you been fighting Nugget? <laughs> <laughs> it's the most frustrating thing. He's like. <sighs> Nugget's bang is like, oh, I blocked the D button. But I know he can go for another D button, so I'll just block that. And now he's too far away for you to be able to do anything. It's like, alright, fine. Yeah, and nice. then you block the D button, <laughs> and then you decide to go to punish. And then he presses another D button, it's like, fuck's sake. <laughs> I love Nugget. <laughs> he's like biking, but plus. <laughs> yeah, from what I've heard about 
uh, accent call to Guilty Gear. It's, I think he's similar to Anji, just having God Point on a bunch of his moves. Luminous lacks throwing out that DP. Um, for people looking to adapt to how others play, it's very, a very good idea to take note of how often someone DPs. That's probably like the first thing you should take note of when you're learning to read someone. How often are they DPing on Wake Up? And in Luminous's case, quite a bit. <laughs> Not even Wake Up, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's technically not plus spawn. Um, his guard points are actually negative, though. He's just got cancels. Yeah. He's only plus if he uh, if you hit his guard point and he uh, you know, gets an explosion follow-up. It is possible to rapid cancel if you hit those. Um, and in some cases, if it's a falling normal, you can block in time. But yeah, it's rough. Okay. So... Selica here has a lot of potential, and he's dead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Selica had 100 meter, uh, definitely could have done something, but uh, yeah. zero health is the inability to do anything. It's true. Now, I'm Ooh, not sure big I've, fatal here. I'm not sure if I've seen uh, Luminous use Selica's uh, special overhead, Ooh. the 214 D, I think? land something or other yeah. yeah um very very nice anti-air especially when she has uh blue health i believe it's referred to it's also um, just a pretty... really big button it is a pretty big button oh nice barrier break there wasn't a true barrier break oh spacing spacing overdrive oh this is big damage um yeah he's at the literal worst spot to be <laughs> <laughs> so when Ra when Ragnar gets that combo, there is like one very particular spot he just does not want to be when the wall bounce happens, and he and Sin was in that spot. I I think you can do something off of it, but it's very difficult. Okay, here comes the DP. Oh no! Looks like a bit of a spike there. Jeez. I think he might have been able to combo off that because the fireball hit. And kept nice the juggle. Hit by the unreactable. There it is. Wake up, DP. Macho Flynn. I don't know. I don't speak French. Is that? I guess that would be French, yeah. And get hit, but backwards. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. So, Luminous is. <laughs> There's that menace of a five. Oh. Okay, what I was gonna say is the Luminous has been doing very overdrive unsafe pressure, pressing the D button a lot, so Sin has a chance to overdrive raid and take it back, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I agree completely, Aether, I'm Luminous. If you're watching this back, or have the stream on in the background, you've improved quite a bit since I last remember. Like, there's still little bits here and there, and, like, unfortunately being one of two people who play a character, you're naturally going to be compared to Jace, who is... Who has loved this character more than? Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if Jace is like outdone like most people in the world. Selica, like, there's not many Selica players, I don't think. I don't think there's too many. I've seen a few. Off DDD two three six B. Yeah. Okay. Luminous, but no luminous slaves. Feels bad, man. No zoners and newbies. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, no, Hans, like, all newbies are going to play a character that is played by someone else, but um, when there's only two people that play a character in a given context, then uh, unfortunately the comparison is natural. Okay, in that case he could have actually gone for Carnage Scissors to kill, instead of trying to go for the Micro Dash uh, 5 Since being pretty conservative on my copy, he's 100 meter, I haven't seen a whole lot of DPs from him. It's true. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the late... Ow! Okay, Luminous. Luminous is going off right now. Since pressure is pretty front-loaded. Yeah. Zona discrimination. No, no, no. I'm, I don't discriminate against Zonas. I, no, I need a Zona. I play one. Um, but there's just none in newbies. I mean, zoning's actually hard. So. It is hard. Ooh, 
Ooh, this is how it starts. Is Singh gonna burst? Okay, I'm glad he did. Oh. Okay, so that goes back to what I was saying earlier about Sin. He was pressing 2A really far away there, where it wouldn't even hit if uh, proximity guards uh, making the block longer was in effect. So I think he really needs to work on his micro dashes to make sure they're consistent um, in 2A pressure. Or if he's not going for micro dashes, then please go for micro dashes instead of just whiffing 2A at a distance. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure I'd agree with that spawn star, because like, the top tiers in this game are all zoners. Except for S. Actually, no, S is also a zoner. <laughs> Big JC there. That's what I was saying. Nagato, if you're still watching, take notes. JC is huge. Use it a lot. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I was going to say, that was the combo that Jace does in that situation. Until it dropped. Yeah, nice 5B frame trap. Be a good chunk of damage. If you can end with super, this might be dead. Uh, nah, I couldn't end with super off that routing. That's, that's probably Ragnar's biggest weakness, honestly. Not biggest, but one of his big weaknesses. He oh. can't end with super in a lot of his more damaging rounds. Nice DP! So that will be two sin. 1-1. One, one. And this is... Losers Finals, I believe this is a... Hang on. No, no, no. That loses semis, okay. Not yet. It's yep. first two. Yeah. Doing DP during pressure. Yeah, he's, he's a Ragnar God. Just DP and pressure. <laughs> Alright. Drops his combo. Turns out a right front back is Remus lifts the DP there. Ooh! And that right there is why Ragnar 5B is good. Just outspace the DP even though he actually hit the guard point on it. Uh, geez, the problem I have with DP during Celica Drive is that my characters don't exactly have a DP whenever they feel like it. <laughs> I don't have any characters with just, hey look, a meterless round star DP. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Yeah, no, I agree. But I, I just want to say, I am aware of the option. I just can't do it like you're demanding people to do. Not always, at least. I'd be doing it if uh, my 2 c was still frame 1 involved. <laughs> God, uh, that being frame 1 involved is sickening. <laughs> Although I'm not sure it would work, given how much Celica auto-corrects. She does auto-correct very easily. That was a very spinny Ragnar. Ooh, okay, this is this is an overdrive route. It's not the most damaged. Uh, he... No, 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 no EA, unfortunately. Right. Takes the blue beat, though. Okay, here comes... Ooh, went for a walk-up throw? Good nice tech. throw tech. Yeah, nice throw tech again. It's doing well with the techs. That's a very hard mid-screen route, but there he goes, doing it. Well, uh, trying it. Unfortunately, missed it. Okay, so... Oh! Oh, okay! He, I think he tried to respect it, but didn't quite respect for long enough. Oh, he okay, he stood head. up! Very nice. He stood up. He's learning. Alright, here comes a burst. Yep, damn it. Let me finish before you do it, so it looks like I predicted it. Ooh, okay, he would have had to... Full screen silver. This is so much damage if he can pawn... And he doesn't, and Luminous takes it. Okay. Well played to Luminous. Well played to both players, but... Yeah, well, nice. well played to both, honestly. But, uh, yeah, no, Luminous... Um, you could definitely tell that throughout that, Sim was on the back foot. Um, he wasn't necessarily underperforming too much. But it was more a case of... It, it, it was Luminous's show, mm. so to speak. Yeah, no, um, punishing that super is actually really hard, um, depending on the distance, I know none of my characters, oh, okay, that's a lie, Jubei probably can, um, but, yeah, I, some characters just straight up can't. It's a bit um, harder mid-screen, especially if, uh, it's whiffing. 
because uh, yeah. if you're air dashing, for instance, um, and it doesn't hit you, it just whiffs. I can't remember how big the hitbox is on that, actually. I think it's fairly big. But uh, yeah, right. if it whiffs, it's much harder to punish. Just cause it so we are now going to see Hans and Spawn on stream? Uh, I'm going to assume that Dez hasn't called that. <laughs> Aether, don't say that to him! Don't say that! That's mean. Don't say that! <laughs> what a bully. <laughs> Hutch, keep going on about Jubei. Uh, I mean, I can... <laughs> we know you were kidding! We know you were kidding. I'm pretty sure Sin knows you were kidding. But it still sometimes hurts to hear. If I if I lost in a tournament, and someone said, "Damn, you're washed up," I'd probably just walk away from my computer and just like get on my bed and just be like, "All right, it's bedtime now." <laughs> um, you yeah, know, DXT, what do you want me to go on about Jubei? Like, because this is a newbie tournament, I am send more than happy. Send to... should put uh, make Aether put his money where his mouth is and challenge him to a first Ooh. attempt. We're taking notes. Well, like, okay, DXT, like, ask me questions and I'll answer them. This is a newbie tourna tournament, so like, I'll. I'm, I'm more than happy to answer. Just not during a game when it's on, but between games, I'm happy to answer. Like right now. Hit me with a specific question right now. Just one, and I'll answer it. <laughs> I can't believe Aether is toxic. <laughs> Can't believe Aether runs away from first attempts. <laughs> uh, Luminous won the last one, does? 2 1 to Luminous. I don't know what to specifically ask since I can't play Jubei right now. Um... <sighs> okay, well, things to know about Jubei. Okay. Um, you really, really just should mash 5D after you do 3C. Just press, like, 2B, 5B if you want to, you don't have to press 5B, but it's good for more damage. Then 5C, 3C, and then 5D. Once 5D happens, you have a few options depending on where you are screen-wise. If you just side swap the opponent into the corner, you probably want to use 236A or 236236A. Um, if you're mid-screen or just put yourself into the corner, in, in fact, you probably don't want to do that to start with, uh, but you'd... Um, want to do after the 5D, 236B, then 236C for Oki. Right. Anyway, we're seeing two, two very manly brolic men about to duke it out. Um, I think... So, tears don't matter when it comes to newbies, because different characters are easier to play than others. So I would say that this is probably a decent advantage at a lower level to... Azrael, he's just very good, but nice blocks here from Hans, though. I don't know, man. I feel like Bang's, like, demashing is very beginner-friendly. Uh, yeah? I guess it just depends if you know how to convert off that and play neutral from that interaction. Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gets some big movement there. Does Bang have any Gowlings off 6A? I would answer if I knew what his 6A was. Ah, oh, this can kill. Rapid, dash. Oh no, probably wouldn't have killed. Oh no. That DP doesn't actually have a whole lot of recovery. Oh, actually, no, I think I, I think I kind of agree with you now because I just realized that, like, nails are a very difficult neutral option to stuff up. <laughs> like, you chuck nails out, good job. Neutral has been won against, like, 70% of the cost. <laughs> okay, watch for the cross-up. Oh, he didn't cross up. Okay. Now he did. Okay. Just mash D. It's cross-up for... It, it, he's not wrong. <laughs> oh, big punish. Except it wasn't counter-hit. Nice blocks there. I can't believe I'm seeing a, a, a bang player that blocks. <laughs> it does feel a bit wrong, doesn't it? 
It also it took me a while to find the word bang. I was about to say maggot player. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. There's well, I, besides Nugget, our bank players are like what we've got. Viz tried for a bit, but yeah, then just tried for a bit. I didn't even know Cheats did, and then we've got Hans who's like learning, I guess. Actually, Spawnstar doesn't do much. Yeah, he he definitely prefers overheads. Bruh, my bank beat Nugget. <laughs> Look, AB, you're just like really good at the game. Like, there's no other way to put it. He wasn't on top of this game, okay? He'll come back and he'll, he'll, ten, he'll 10 a eight. He gave you that one. He didn't want to make you look bad. No, I, I completely disagree. AB is good at... Well, yeah, no. He is good at Blaze Blue, but like just in fighting games as a whole. He just... Be nah, Nugget will, AB, like, Nugget will have his day. Yeah. Ooh, that's some damage. Now, if, <clears throat> if that were Nugget, he would have just pressed 5 I was going to say, press a guard point. Like, I can't believe I'm saying this, but actually just press a guard point. <laughs> okay, he can whiff cancel this. He can whiff cancel this. Yeah. Thank you. It's a good choice. I don't think that's dead. Okay, nails, nails, nails! What? Yes! Okay. Sorry, this is kind of blatant commentator bias, but I, <laughs> I just want to see good bank things. So, can anyone blame me? Alrighty. Um, so, Spawn Star, what would he ideally be fixing going into this game? Uh, lows. Press lows. <laughs> um, mix the game up a bit more. I think jump a bit more. Um, it feels like you're playing a very grounded game, and like, granted, Azrael does that, but like, even just chuck in a jump once every round in your pressure, even just once a game, just, just to show that you are willing to do it, because if you're not willing to do it, then people don't even have to think about preparing an anti-air option. They just were like, okay, anti-air, brain turned off. Yeah, no using, using Growler against now is a big, uh, a big improvement that can be made. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure you can, like, press something to, like, immediately shoot something that you've just taken with Growler. Yeah, I think you just did it. Yeah, I know that, like, you could just do it, like, immediately upon getting something. So, that's a good option to do against Bang once you grab a nail. Well, don't roll when he's that far away, because he will come stuff you. So. Oh, that's not blocked. Oh, no! Yeah, oh, this is this good. is gonna hurt. Yeah. So for those unaware, um, when weak points are on you, you cannot block that uh, black box stinger in that way. So, i.e., if the yellow uh, low weak point is on you, you cannot uh, block low against black box stinger. If you have both on you, you can't block black box stinger. However. You can counter assault or overdrive against it, which is very strange. But that does um, work. I don't remember how much startup it has, but uh, I think the only thing into it that is like a true block screen is 5C. 5C. 5C, yes. And in that case, if you 5C BHS, um, you want a CA or OD or DP. Yep. Nice counter assault. Again, everyone trying to meaty the DP spammers. <laughs> uh, use these nails more. You should, okay. What you should do as a bang player, in my opinion, is try to use your nails, at least early on. I feel like at higher levels you don't do this. Can you block it? Yeah. Uh, see. Oh, oh no, that's, that's dead. Yeah. Oh, he had that? Okay. So, oh, VHS is four off the flash, apparently. But yeah. So, when you look at your nails, bang starts with what, 12 nails? Uh, nine. No, twelve. No, twelve. Twelve. Okay, so he starts with twelve nails. Um, you should divide your opponent's HP bar into twelfths in your brain. And if you have more nails than they do corresponding HP, you should honestly just chuck the nails to win neutral and get in. Obviously, 
it is when you're uh, still learning the character, it's like, oh, I don't know how to really start my turn, especially when it's a DP spammer. And that's valid. But I think in theory, you do want to just make sure you're using your nails. They are an incredibly powerful tool. You should be using them. Hmm. Um, all right, so Hans has swapped over to nine. <laughs> So, uh, I will say that at the highest level, this is hell for Azrael, but I think outside the highest level, this yeah. is this can be kind of even. Yeah. More even than you'd expect. I still think it's 9 favor, though. Yeah. Um, okay. Growler, probably not going to be too useful against just her normals. Absolutely um, not useful at all. Yeah. Interesting routing. This one's generally just a bit of a problem for Azrael. It's... Between this and an army, it's one of the two worst in the game. Yeah. Like, do you know who Dogura is? Dogura just said, I'm not playing this matchup, and he learns Nine himself so he can play the mirror. <laughs> he's kind of he's kind of helpless. Although, yeah. Nice combo there from Hans. I'm, I'm hoping that was a labbed interaction, because that was a really, really nice one. Okay. Yeah, if someone's hanging a full screen, Nine has some really nice anti-zoning tools. Okay. Yeah? Alright, nice DP. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful. DPs will be doing that to you. Alright, Azrael's got All right. the corner now. Let's the roll go and check. Here comes an overhead. <laughs> Alright, this is Spawn's game to take. Okay. All you, okay, here's the thing. Nine loves being in this position right here. Okay, it's gone now. But she loves having her back to the corner while the opponent is actually a little bit far away. The reason for that is all she needs to do is just do her equivalent of IAD, and now they're in the corner. And if they're not ready for it, it's her turn. Um, oh, okay. No? So, quick tip for Hans, use 4C more than 4A a lot of the time, because 4C is larger, and it actually leads to combos. Um, okay, 4C and 4B are much larger, so you should use them, however, 4B does not lead to good combos, because it's your starting spell and range is a factor. Um, so you want to use more uh, 4C to be your jab, essentially. Tries to sentinel dump out of there. <laughs> nice DP. Ah, uh, okay, that was not an intentional Navy, I do that one all the time. I think that was an IB on Gustav, but he didn't challenge. Okay. One more would um, confirm could actually do this for Spawn Star here, but... Yeah. yeah. Nah, Hans will be taking that one. Uh, was this first to... First to three, this three? One. Yeah, so we got another one, don't we? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. I, I hope... Winner's semis? Yeah, winner's finals. Yeah. So I'm... Hopefully Hans is going to go back and watch this, and if not, I'll probably tell this to him later, but... Just as a general note, um... I'm going to describe Nine, how Chibi described Nine to me when I was first learning her. If you've ever played Control in Magic the Gathering or Yu-Gi-Oh! That is how you should play Nine. You are not playing in... in to continue the Magic the Gathering analogy, you're not playing a red deck, you are not tapping out on mana every turn, burning their face, swinging with prowess dudes to kill in like turn 3 or 4. Your goal is to just hang back and let them make the first move. Make them spend the resources, in this case their movement. Make them do things first. Um, Nine is an extremely reactionary <laughs> He's just growling. <laughs> what a god. Um, but yeah, you, you want to let them come to you, but you don't want them to start pressure on you, which is why Nine's actually such a difficult character. Because <laughs> she wants to be... The cross -up, yeah. Okay, cool. here we go. Took Nine back to mid-screen, and uh... Yeah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Nice combo. Ooh, unfortunate drop there. Could have rapided to kill there. Flashes the block low, but gets hit high. Nice block, out of range, that's why I want to use 4C. <laughs> Ooh, 100 meter here. This is a lot of damage. Uh, 100 meter isn't really a thing that he can do here, unfortunately. Next confirm, and he's dead. 
Burst? No, okay. Swap, swap. Okay, you need that spell. You need nope, that. Chipped out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, please barrier. Also, Duncan. when when your opponent is that far away, um, I do recommend I do recommend that you try to at least walk out of the corner. As nine, I know it's like scary to actually do anything in movement a lot of the time, um, but you just do need to use your movement to get out of the corner. Yeah, um, I also recommend Hans learn a bit more about how fairy works and how fairy will work when people do different things. If someone, okay, if they roll backwards and you don't catch their roll, how are they going to interact with fairy? Most people will try to jump or jump uh, block, for example. When they just tech in place, they're going to block. And so then you should try and time your hits to kind of alternate with fairy. Oh, oh no, no, that's dead. <laughs> Ouch. And so that's two apiece, I believe. Yep. Did you just say nine is difficult? Um, yes. Nine is difficult in the same way that Susano is difficult. And everyone's like, oh, Susano easy. Yes, their combos are incredibly easy. Their combos are incredibly easy. Well, nines actually aren't that easy when you do the optimal stuff that lets you keep a spell in your back pocket, which is like really important for a mix-up. Um, but she's easy to press buttons with. But playing her is... It's not as easy as people seem to think. Um, she's very weak to uh, air approaches done correctly. Because she doesn't have an easy to access head invulnerable move. Um, it's kind of like how Izioi is kind of weak to air approaches. Um, in that she doesn't have the best ability to anti-air them. Um, granted, people can be dissuaded from that because, you know, 6C is fucking huge. Tell that to the town or land of play. I mean, yeah, they've got the same problem. They have the same problem. But Nine has that a similar problem as well. She struggles a lot with jump-ins. Um, unless she's expecting them or they're easy to react to, in which case, are they really a jump-in? Right. So this is the last game of the set. Both tied up at the moment. Ooh. Each looking to advance to Brands here. Okay. So, okay. Um, Hans wants to be not letting uh, spawn just Gustav. He needs to not let himself get nice hit by Gustav so he can all help it. His cross ups are working out really well for spawn, I feel. Ooh. He seems to have confirmed off of all of them so far. Well, maybe not confirmed, yeah. but he's managed to hit. Um, usually because Hans is trying to press something. Good backdash into Gustav, I like that. Uh, can't kill him? Okay. <laughs> uh, local is a player to show up at the list. Get coach <laughs> So, yeah, Hans, I think you also really need to play a bit more reactively. When you see Azrael <laughs> jump, and he is in, and his trajectory is going to land him in where your 6C will hit, press 6C. Like, it's it's, it's a very, like, uh, duh thing, it's very simple, but you'll really be needing to do that. Just there, for example. Just there again, for example. So I'd probably 6A on the second one, preferably. Just JoJo plays in neutral. Assert that dominance. Better All right, see. he's found his way back in, tick throw. Ooh! Oh, nice. He's got a root off it. Wow, okay, that was a lot better than I was expecting, actually. Okay, so, when you're oh, trying to side-swap with 9, you can't actually use the CMOS route, because that drops, because... I don't know why, this character is dumb, but... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, That's a okay. lot of pushback. <laughs> that is... Could have actually gone for Astral there. Nah, hit low. And Hans will be taking that one. Mm. We'll be seeing uh, Swarm Star very soon. And lose the Okay. Finals. Des, I'm not entirely sure what your hard on about Morvet is. I'm not sure why you always talk about that because you accuse me of never using it. I do. Um, and then you see someone not use Morvet for a single game, and then you're like, <gasps> Morvet. Like, it does have head involved, but it's very, very difficult to execute on reaction. <laughs> And it's on, a lot of the time, it's not worth it when it's 9. You'd rather just 
teleport backwards and make them miss. I'm trying to remember if I've ever seen Hunt you. I. <sighs> yeah, he's used it. He uses it against me a lot. <laughs> I think it's like one hand number of times. Oh, okay, like one hand in fingers, yeah. Um, the problem with it is that a lot of the time, even if I hit it, I get nothing off it. Um, best case scenario, I do it preemptively and get a counter hit, um, which is risky as is, but let's say, okay, best case scenario, anti-air counter hit. I do get a very basic, like, 2k combo. Um, but uh, yeah, off non-counter hit, I get nothing. Um, without counter hit, they are just catapulted to the other side of the screen and tech in the air. That's not too bad for me, depending on the matchup. Um, I mean, yeah, it, like, a lot of the time it's not too bad, but in matchups, in a lot of matchups, um, I, I tend to prefer they just do their pressure in my face and I insta-block and punish them. That's honestly what I prefer to do a lot of the time, because not getting the counter hit just means, oh, we're back in neutral. And now I have to put up with X characters, neutral, Y characters, ability to do so and so. I just lost to Azrael's JB. So, well, okay. I would argue you didn't actually lose to Azrael's JB. I would argue that you lost to Azrael using Gustav. And then he got to JB you so many times because you didn't... Because you let Gustav hit so often. Nine's... One of Nine's weakest points is her teleport because of the... Chonky counter hit recovery. But it's also one of her best tools because it's like unique movement that a lot of characters can't exploit and Azrael is actually one of the characters um okay Azrael can exploit it but it requires some pretty intense reading has to go to fucking library um so I'd recommend you teleport a lot more teleport and just make things whiff nine wants to make things whiff I just thought plus frames have to block yes you um... have to block but they're not plus frames if you're not hit I don't know, can, can 9 just backdash after Gustav? I know he's a 9, um, I'm not sure about 9. Frame 4 plus 1 um, depends on the range, but I think she can. Plus 1, okay, so if you don't instant block it, then Azrael can hit you? It's 5 frames. Uh, he'd have to growl at you? No, 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 hold on. No, because Growl is the Oh, okay, button. Growl. Oh, okay, I thought he meant 5A, but so, yeah, he, 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 okay, he'd have to Growl. So you can backdash if you want to. Um, depending on your screen position, that is often not an option. Uh, stop downplaying 9, she's amazingly strong. Oh, I agree, she is amazingly strong. I'm trying to downplay her, because people seem to think she's, like, top 3, and I'm like, that is completely wrong. <laughs> she cannot, I will forever maintain she, she right, has a much oh, harder maybe. time against the deep. top tiers. She was top 3 in 1.0, without a doubt, yeah. Alright, hit by the cross-up. Blue beats, but we take them. Still respectable damage on that. 3.4k. No one's going to block any cross-ups tonight. Cross-ups are too hard to block. Ooh. Yeah, that one will be a low. So one of the best ways, not just for Nine, because we I'll talk about it with Nine, but just for any character to be Azrael, make Gustav whiff, um, make him not, <laughs> not want to use it. Ooh, the mash out. Yeah, is an army two B is still kind of pretty good. I mean, it's uh, it's got low here, uh, it's got low profile recovery, so. First? There we go, okay. Oh, that was an attempted 
full screen super, and ouch, that will be one two spawn star. Yeah, Wiz does make a good point about Ezreal 6C. It's actually pretty good for controlling vertical space. Or well, vertical horizontal space. Air space. Frame one low profile. <laughs> yeah, she needs it. <laughs> Bro, she can't block. Oh, she needs it. Also in the game, Valk. Who also can't block. <laughs> Why doesn't Valk have ribcage, huh? <laughs> I don't really want a Valk ribcage, to be honest. <laughs> He just runs like eight full seconds of just undpable mix up at you. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially unreactable as well. Just pop ribcage and do wolf ja six times in a row. What are they gonna do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I believe unlimited bout has card point. <laughs> well. Alright, burst, put him in the corner, DP's out. Alright, they're swapping out and in and out of the corner like mad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, once again, that Gustav is just a menace. You need to instant block that, or maybe instant barrier. Do decently? I'm not sure. <laughs> He's playing a footsies <laughs> game, yeah? He's playing a footsies game and it's working out well for him. Good lord, Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm plus two, but I can't do anything. Please help. Ooh, trying to mash after Gustav there while barrier? I'm not sure about that one. Oh no. Just a throw. Not a huge punish, but uh. Smack. Ooh, ow. So yeah, I, I just want to see someone bait his DP. Just bait Spawn Star's DP. I mean, he's doing he's doing very well on the scrambles. Oh no, that was a back dash! Yeah. Oh my god, it caught, it. <laughs> caught the back dash. It's four frames after flash, so... Ow. Yeah, making DPs whiff rather than blocking them is something you're gonna have to get used to, especially with uh, meterless DP characters. Yeah. It's a very strong option. You just get used to it. You can make someone block a DP. Oh, Which is why. This round's looking like a photo. Yeah, that was pretty quick, so well. 2-0 now. 3-0. 3-0 was it? Oh yeah. my god, I blinked. <laughs> and that just comes with the matchup. Um, That's an Azrael set. Yeah. 
good stuff to Luminous. Um, don't feel disappointed. The place is nice, especially with how far you've come since we last saw you. But, um... Yeah, there are a lot of characters in this game. In fact, most characters in this game are just walking knowledge checks, and Azrael's one of the bigger ones, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, definitely. He also does some chunky damage, and Selica is a very fragile character. Um, Han saying I'm not used to making them whiff. Okay, um, okay, if you're assuming you're playing 9 and you want to make DPs whiff. Um, you, it's all matchup specific. Some characters like, um, Susano, Ragnar, and especially Naoto, e like, you'd almost need to be at 5B range for some of them to whiff. Um, they have very large DPs horizontally. Um, but for a lot of them, you can use Fairy to keep them, I guess, in place while you teleport. So what you do is you chuck out a Fairy, and then as soon as they wake up, teleport say backwards and then forwards again or like you know behind them and then uh, back to where you were in that time if they chucked out a DP um, they'll get hit by the fairy and it'll probably still be your turn depending on how much you teleport um, and if they don't DP then they do have an opportunity to escape but you're probably safe probably I'm liking the Growler. That was an instant block, didn't quite recognize it. So that's that's another weakness of Growler, I must... <laughs> Good try, but not quite the right timing. Um, a big weakness of Growler is because of how long the block stun is, the person who instant blocked it has a million years to recognize that they instant blocked it. A lot of the time, like against other characters that you need to instant block, i.e. Susano, um, you can't, sometimes you can't quite recognize that you've instant blocked until it's too late. But yeah. Azrael gives you a million years. Alright, we're seeing some, uh... Nine, well, man, why did I speak? I was gonna say, we're seeing a nine round here. Okay, good burst, watch out for DP! I'm not sure if, uh... Nine has any good flow profiles for Growler. She does not. <laughs> Growler or DP? Oh, sorry, DP. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> God damn it, bitch. Um, <laughs> I'm waiting to see Dez talk to Pitchy about No Morty. Biased though, so we won't. Um, so, something I've noticed about Hans is like, he, he's, he's self-professed rusty at the moment, so... Like, we know why, but there's a lot of instances that I've seen where if Hans was aware of what his spells are looking like and how he needs to move, it's basically just to get Kunzite. Got the combo, very nice. Uh, Crossed up on the uh, on the tech there as well. Very good. Oh, these timings. That's dead. Oh, yeah. No? <laughs> okay. Make him pay for it. Make him pay for it. <laughs> This this kill. <laughs> Please don't drop. Okay. Um. Yeah. Hans is pressing water buttons a bit too much and not enough fire buttons. Um. You do need two fire to make a kunzite, whereas only one water to make a kunzite. And so as a result, we're seeing a lot of fairy. And Kunzai would just be the combo extender for another like thousand, thousand five hundred damage. Mm. Kunzai is Kunzai's also one of those knowledge checks. It is, yes. And to address what Wiz said in the chat before, yes, every character is a knowledge check, but there are some that are like so obnoxiously you can't do anything unless you understand a certain gimmick. Lychee. Um, yeah, Lychee, Susano, Nine, um, is an army's entire kit. I'd, I'd say to some degree, Azrael, ooh, will he astral? No, he will not. She's wearing blue, so she's a water mage. Oh, you right. But hold on, those are blue lightning bolts on her. So, like... Rain? I guess? 
So that is first. That was the first one, right? Did I blink? Yeah. Hans. Okay. Hans, don't listen to the stream while you're playing, please. <laughs> I don't want to throw you off. Aetha. <laughs> Alrighty. Pitchy set up a chain reaction. Yes, I noticed. We've got Must Die in... Oh god. Good song. I'm gonna ban Aether. <laughs> Do it. Kill him. Kill him now. Shoot it! <laughs> Stop the blaze blue way! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Right. Ooh, okay. Ouch. Just six bang. Get ready to insta block. Okay, nice overdrive there, but unfortunately, as rails, D buttons recover unexpectedly quickly, so you're not going to be able to do anything. Alright, he has DP here, but rolls into as rail instead. Oh, yeah. Good catch on the roll, though. Alright, good DP. Oh, okay. Good roll out. That DP jump is doing well. Yeah, okay. Yeah. This is... Yeah, this is hurting. Alright. No, 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 okay. It's okay to not press forwards in Blaze Blue. I, I know it sounds weird, but you don't have to press forwards. It's, it's okay when you have the room behind you to just give them a bit of room. To give yourself a bit of room. Okay. Is he gonna stock it? No. Just use it. Just use it, my boy. Okay, not recognizing the attack animation, that's fine. Going for the easy mid-screen stuff. I don't think he's blocking it, I think he's holding it. Alright, tried to bait DP there, it's fine. It didn't work, but it's fine. It's no one's turn now, it's neutral. That's that's still good for 9, that is a good thing. If you have to return to neutral as 9, against a decent majority of the cast, you're okay with that. Oh, nice burst bait. Um, we're, we're gonna call that a burst bait. <laughs> that wasn't a drop, that was a burst bait. <laughs> I'm not sure which one it was, but we're calling that a burst bait. Ooh, that looked like a bit of a, a hiccup. Alright, a nice 3k. Nice teleport! Okay, that's what you want to do more often. Not, not necessarily just that exact particular interaction, but that's what you want to do more often than not. Alright, we've got a low weak point. Now I believe, uh... Well, it makes... Specials... Overheads, I think? Does it? What? Yeah, I think the one you've got on you is the way you need to block. Oh. Oh, you mean the super? Or do you mean the special? Uh... I don't remember what they're called. But yeah. Black Hooks. Okay. Black Hooks. Yeah. I don't know super. what it's no. Yeah. That's a good burst. <laughs> okay. In a one hit in a one hit scenario, you really just want to be playing at 5B range. Managed to get and it. that's 2-1. Uh, Almost one, one. bracket racer. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh, unless I missed one. And I haven't been yelled at yet, so I don't believe I did miss one. Okay, I might be tripping. Hans could have DP'd the Blackhawk Stinger since it was in neutral. There was a lot of things he could have done there, um, but I do agree with just... I think it's fine to just keep your meter and back off just in case, because I don't know if the meter would have... I didn't want him to miss time it, basically. <laughs> but yes, I know. I'm just forgetting everything I should be doing. That's fine. Rust is fine. Just don't... Don't... Tell yourself, oh, I shouldn't play this game for the, another few months now because I'm rusty and I didn't win the netplay tournament. No, no, no. Use this as an opportunity to realize, hey, I should, like, jump into more games now. <laughs> but, I mean, even still, you're doing fine. Yeah. Solution to being rusty is not to get more rusty. Yeah. Unless you actually don't want to play the game. That is, look, that is a mentality that a lot of people, myself included in the past, 
has had. It's like, I'm rusty, ah, uh, fuck this game, I'm out. Um. Wow, oh, it's a vivid! Viv with his trademark oh. catch rest. <laughs> Come back, Viv. I miss you. He's in the he's in the Discord still. Yeah. He's not playing. But he's not playing, but hey. Well, he's not playing in tournaments or casuals, but if he starts the game off. <laughs> Return of the King win. Ooh, okay. Not the best punish, but it'll probably be like jump. <laughs> <laughs> this man just wants to deep it. Ah, oh, this can kill. And it did. Had to. Oh, caught him in the uh, yeet startup. Mm. I can't even watch stream. Enjoy yourselves later. Oh, okay. What if I want to enjoy myself now? <laughs> The joke is he was saying later, <laughs> but anyway, Goathead is actually a very good tool against non-zoners. What are they going to do? Run away for like the duration of the Goathead, which is why it's pitifully short of the duration. Hey, a better combo. Unfortunate timing though. Not practiced for that forever. Okay, I expect first. <laughs> I, bait, I baited that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, this is killing. Oh, yeah. And ouch. One apiece. Yeah, mine's 5B right, is bigger. It's, it's, <laughs> I don't think there's a single character that has a bigger 5B than her. <laughs> You know what? This is working. Do it. <laughs> this is working. Yeah, that 5 is going there. And you're out! Oh, he got in. Oh, it would be a shame if I counter assaulted. Hey, it's raining. He's doing it. He's learning the matchup. He's beginning to believe. Yes! Teleport out! Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. Yes! Stay away Make... from me. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't looked at chat right now, but I'm assuming everyone is actually angry. <laughs> <laughs> I love neutral, says Robo. <laughs> oh my god, Hans, that was awful and I loved it. <laughs> that was awful and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, what happened was that we saw the B button approximately 40 times and a perfect happened. Because what is AZ gonna do when the 5B is over half the screen? <laughs> that being said, I must admit that is not. Uh, that is not the matchup solved. But that is going to get you to force him to play a certain way. You can start conditioning now. Yeah. Um, and likewise, if you uh, spawn here, you need to figure out, okay, I've just been 5B'd 30 times in a row and lost. What do I need to do here? And the answer is, try and bait out a 5B. Nine's buttons are... If she whiffs a button, you're either punishing or at the very least it's your turn. Um, yeah. Assuming you were tricking her correctly. Yeah. 5B will stop Gustav in its tracks, but if she whiffs 5B... Exactly. You can probably go stick Ooh, tried to teleport through there, but was a bit far. Uh, EA here is best. No. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, nice anti-air. Unfortunately, didn't recognize the spells that were stuck. That's just low. <laughs> nice insta block on the projectile. Didn't really help much, but it's cool. Yep, so Azrael plus after he does that spin kick. Yep. And that's not dead, but that's going to be a lot of damage. An interesting fact for you all. Uh, the second highest minimum damage of a super in the game is 9's 236-236C that you just saw there. Um, where at max... So it, it gets stronger based on how many spells she has stocked and in her active. And at level 3 spells in both... I believe the minimum damage in Overdrive is like 2,500. 
um, which is dwarfed only by Susano's uh, Strikers of Possessed God, with every seal in overdrive, hits about 2.7, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Why is stream kill? Uh, is stream kill? I don't believe it is. Uh, it shouldn't be kill. Okay, he's got he's got the spark ball stocked here. Now, okay, a big part of playing against nine, which you'd know if you read the handy dandy doc that's pinned, you need to keep an eye what she has stocked. In this case, it didn't matter too much because you know you've got empirical evidence here. Uh, Ow! All right, so is that two two? That's three one. Three one? Yeah. Counting hard. Um, that's twenty. That is. Hans will be taking that with a, uh, well, I wouldn't say a figured out matchup, but a, uh, a working, a working yeah. strategy. I believe you did it. I, I lost count because brain hard, but I'm pretty sure you did it. But yeah, good shit. Hmm. Um, what if I slid in to play some games? <laughs> I mean, you can. Hey, I did. I'm doing that thing. I'll be here for like two games at most. Okay. I'll just split this. Hold on, what's that?